from Gottlieb Pinball. Wally, can you turn yours off? This is going to be a very short video. I promise to do a very short video. They're all upset because the sillies are the fillies are playing. <sighs> Tony is filming. Tony just finished this barbed wire. Do you know this is one we sold brand new back in 1996. We had to trade it in. It is like brand new. It is beautiful. Oh, no, Walter. Oh, Walter's coming. I thought I thought he was leaving. Walter, we thought you were leaving, and here you're just coming. Walter's the evening crew. Look at these legs. <laughs> now, of course, we put new casters on, but this thing is like brand new. Of course, the manual. So the manual. This also has something else in it I thought you'd love to see. These, we rarely got these. These are the speaker knockouts that went in there. See? And more than likely, yep, it says Gottlieb on it. See? Yep, oh, two. Look. <laughs> so our customer gets those two. Very nice. He's going to be very happy. You know what else we like about games like this from years ago? Look at the coin door. Everything is crisp and clear. They have the coin mix out there cleaning them. Look, look at the paper right in there. It's like brand new. Can you see it from the mm -hmm. yeah, Okay, Tony, Tony's very flustered right now, aren't you, Tony? Because he just finished this beauty. Of course, this got the super high bright LED treatment. But Tony put a mix of purple up here, including our patented bendies. Bendies. We always try to use that little, that little sound effect. And he has them pointing down rather than out. So in effect, it lights the ramps out. Look how magnificent, how bright this is. Doesn't that sound really nice? I, I'll tell you. Beautiful job on this, Tony. You have purple bands here. Obviously, you have to fill in purple with purple. And of course, under the play field are the same super bright LEDs. We have LEDs up here, too. Actually, let me, let me unplug the. There we are. Now, now do you see this beauty? You know, they only made a thousand of these. This was on the production line when Gottlieb abruptly closed. Very, very sad. Very sad this happened. So only a thousand got, got uh, shipped. And uh, we understand Brooks and Dunn was in the planning stages. Maybe we should leave that off. I'm going to leave that unplugged. Uh, only four Brooks and Dunn samples. We don't think they even finished it. Oh, you know what? We kind of put it on free play, Tony. It was. It was? You know what? Then I took it off of free play. I must have leaned. Isn't this nice and convenient? You can change all the features with the push buttons. See special replay? You get points instead of getting a free game. Extra ball, you can get points instead of an extra ball. And of course the tournament play, if you were going to play with a bunch of your friends and for high scores and such. The book will explain all that, won't it, Tony? Mm -hmm. Welcome to Steel Harbor. We're super bright LEDs everywhere, baby, everywhere. By the way, that is Faxo. I knew you were going to do that, Tony. See, I know you, Tony. Inside and out. I was going to yell Frank instead. But... Wait a minute. Don't be nasty to my Frank. He's not here today. He shouldn't be nasty to Frank. Look at the cap. Everything is like new. Tony, was this your first uh, barbed wire? I guess it was. Yep. You know what? We haven't had a barbed wire pass through in about three years. Otherwise, we would have had a video. Look at the beautiful colors. Now, I wanted to show you a new feature. I always thought this was sharp. When you spell the word lens, see how the lens popped up? That's sharp. And it lights up these panels. These, oops, right behind it. Now, I'm going to show you that. Again. I won't get my fat finger in the way. Here, watch. There we go. 
Yeah, oh, well, now I got multi ball. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Well, I'll play the multi ball. And how's that for a blinding, epileptic uh, light show? Now, this is both white and blue flashlights throughout the play field. Now, on the Gottlieb system, there is a little, little bit of info for you. I'm going to show you something. Because you may find this very helpful. Uh, also, all, ga all Gottlieb games of this vintage have ball safety, which is like a guaranteed play time. Really, really nice feature. Uh, we, I want to show you something that, that would be helpful. When you're buying your LED flash lamps, and, uh, oh, you know what? We, you needed that last one is pointing in here like that. That's right. He has that set back on purpose, so it lights just the headlight. It's really clever. Very good use. Uh, when you put these LEDs in, you sometimes have to switch the um, the plus and minus, the ground and the feed. So if your LED isn't flashing, you have to switch it. And notice Gottlieb has slide-on terminals. Uh, these originally were all slide-on, right, Tony? On this game, I think. Yeah. On some of the other games. The other ones are soldered directly on, but it makes it very, very convenient. So you can switch them. So if you have an LED that's not flashing, try just switching it, and then it'll probably start working again. Uh, we we did change, even though the, the boards were like brand new. We did change the uh, the high voltage capacitors because after gosh 20 years they'll uh, be drying themselves out. It's 19 years old. We took out the original soldered in battery and we put in our button cell that the customer can change if he ever trades it in. Do you think that will happen, Tony? Uh, no. <sighs> anyway, yellow team only. We have been filming a go-go today. Tomorrow is the pinball expo up in, or actually the, just the pinball show, it's not an expo, up in Allentown. So we're trying to gear up for that too. We're going to make a video on that. Look at these side rails. You, know, you never get this kind of sheen. Well, all the used ones don't have this beautiful silver glow to them. We got the, the fellow that traded this in, he had it in his, in his uh, game room in his basement, but he kept it covered. I think that's why it stayed so nice. Now listen, lastly, you hear that beep? <coughs> Excuse me. They do that beep on purpose. Now I'll tell you why. The beep is done that way, so uh, if a kid tried to turn it off and on, off and on, you can hear that beep across the room. So Gottlieb decided to make it beep like that, even because it will attract the attention of an attendant and say, who's, who's uh, fiddling around with our pinball machine? And of course, the Gottlieb machines all have the buttons where it has pages of information that you can get just by pushing the button and scrolling through. Say that nice. Well, Tony, I think it's ready. I think we'll roll this to the back door so we can load it right into the customer's vehicle. He's on his way now to pick it up. I wonder if he'll let us film him. Maybe he will. Where did he go? Where's the barbed wire guy? <laughs> He's pulling away. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Here, He's leaving me. He's leaving me. Hmm. I guess I was a little late. Wallace! You didn't tell me he was pulling out. Oh, you've got a project. Man, shoot, I got I, a, You know, I, I would have thought... Did you hear how he responded to when I said pulling out? That was short round. Oh, and yeah. what is this mess? Oh. You do all this work just to put a new... Who said, oh, who said that? Ew. Who was it? Was it Short Round? I said it. You did. Short Round said it too, but I said it first. Well, you know, I, I have two things I can do to you. I can do this for Short Round. Oh, Short Round, Short Round, he's got aces up his sleeve. Oh, Short Round, Short Round, he speaks in Mandarin Chinese. Yes, and I can do this for you, Stephen. <laughs> it's 
So I have the last laugh. And now, off we go. Good night. <laughs> and remember, smoking is bad for your health.